You've been an advocate for gas and for nuclear to preserve jobs and manufacturing in Australia. And it is true to say that without strong manufacturing, you don't have a strong AWU. That's that's the linkage there, isn't it, that you've always tried to, tried to make people understand? Yeah, so we're in heavy industry. We're in energy-intensive trade-exposed businesses as well as in the resource industries and a bunch of others, health and local government. So we're a general union and we get a broad perspective in terms of what's happening in the economy and we can see the pressures that business have been under with energy for, for the last decade. And most people don't know, we have a manufacturing industry in Australia because energy was our competitive advantage at the time and that competitive advantage has been disappearing and the government's working through a big wholesale change to have more renewables and I've tried to take a pragmatic view to finding energy solutions that mean our members and the companies they work for get energy at the time they need it at the right price. It's part of that. Hasn't made you many friends in some areas, though, has it? No, I think it's funny, you know, like I look back and just say, I think I've upset everyone on all angles over the journey. <laughs> and I think, well, maybe that's the right place that I should have been in. And I think if you look at it right now, I've been pragmatic about talking about nuclear energy uh, before, but if you maintain that pragmatism, it's got to cut both ways. And I see now just the sheer weight of investment and dollars around the globe going into other forms of energy development. And I think for nuclear, as much as I saw it as a fantastic opportunity, I think it's genuinely going to be extremely difficult for it to ever have a future in Australia. But if it does, I remain open and pragmatic to it and uh, hopefully it can create some good A-to-view jobs as well. Well, Dan Walton, you've always been great for your time with us. We appreciate that very much.